Hello everyone, welcome to the landscape here at Strawberry Bank Museum. Absolutely gorgeous day today. I'm in Puddle Dock, right in front of the Sherburn House, our 1695 Colonial home. Now in front of the Sherburn House, we have amazing roses in full bloom. Now roses here early on were certainly assisted with apothecary methods, extracting essential oils, making concoctions, whether that was rose water or rose oil. Now it is Father's Day weekend coming up, so I thought I'd share a little bit of these skills associated with using essential oils for homemade cologne. Yes, you can make cologne yourself at home while selecting a few essential oils and certainly developing those skills to very complex compound recipes that take a little bit of practice really to develop. Now beyond roses, we have many different plants associated with different oils that we can incorporate into cologne recipes. Mints are certainly associated with colognes and perfumes. This is actually cat mint, not to be confused with cat nip. And the pollinators are all over this right now. Now our common green garden fennel is also associated with cologne. Citrus, whether it's lime or other types of citruses, are very commonly associated with cologne recipes. Now vodka is one of the ingredients to dilute colognes and perfumes. Uh, it works very well and will preserve these concoctions, you know, adding that shelf life more and more. Some people are sensitive to vodka on the skin, so you might want to consider high-end ingredients when it comes to sweet almond oil, rosehip oil, um, to dilute your ratios. Keep in mind a few disclaimers on essential oil. You don't want to put 100% essential oil on your skin, so it's always a dilution with solvents like this or oils to really dilute those ratios. You want it at least a three to 5% dilution when it comes to essential oils. Next is witch hazel. So witch hazel is a great ingredient. You can actually buy this in bulk in a lot of pharmacies uh, locally. Next is just distilled water. So distilled water um, is a really good way to kind of dilute ratios. A selection of essential oils here. Uh, we sometimes often use these very inexpensive plastic spray bottles. Uh, sometimes you'll actually find the glass versions in health food stores. Uh, they certainly last a lot longer and consider plastic will degrade with essential oils. Really nice for short term use, these plastic bottles but more glass versions. This is a nice apothecary bottle. Funnels are essential in this process, especially if you're making small batches and concoctions as opposed to large batches and large containers. Consider that large funnels, of course, for large containers. Uh, a mixing jar and plastic kitchenware is very difficult to clean when it comes to essential oils and oils will degrade plastic, so keep that in mind. So I love glassware. We all connect to different aromas, so just be creative and have fun with this, right? And last but not least, I want to share a little bit about this Alembic Copper Still. We actually use this for extraction methods, making a lot of waters, herbal waters, extractions when it comes to essential oil. And we also have a borosilicate glass still that we'll be using in a week or so for lavender extraction. All right, let's get right into the recipe. We'll do this in process together and hopefully you get a chance to make a cologne at home. Now keep in mind, if you don't have these particular essential oils, that is okay. You don't have to use the same ones that I'll be using in the recipe. Now, there are base notes, mid notes, and top notes when it comes to essential oils. I'll be using 20 drops of a top note, 15 drops of a mid note, and 10 drops of a base note. Now, I have limited base notes within my inventory, um, which includes cedar wood and sandalwood and patchouli, so I will probably have to substitute something within that category. Um, moving on to the mid notes, um, uh, we can be using pine or cypress for those. And last but not least, our top notes will be including citrus like lime and lemon, bergamot, or juniper. So again, 
10 drops of a bass note, 15 drops of a midpoint note, and 20 drops of essential oil when it comes to those top note essential oils. On top of our essential oils, we'll be diluting things with five ounces of vodka here, and then one ounce of water. So let's see what we have when it comes to the base level. Again, I don't have too many of those options. So I'm actually gonna use tea tree oil. And again, this is 10 drops, just a little bit goes a long way. So this one will be 10 drops into the jar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next is our mid note. And that is going to be 15 drops. And I am going to use juniper. All right, really, really fragrant. So again, we are doing 15 drops of juniper. I will be selecting lemon for the top note, and that is 20 drops. A little slow to come out. There we go. All right, we have our essential oil in. It's that simple. Let's do our vodka at this point. So since the oil doesn't really show really much volume, um, I can still use these kind of hash marks on the side of the jar just to add five ounces of vodka. And I'm certainly gonna use my big funnel for this so I don't make a mess. Um, so here we go actually come down a little bit closer so I can see these hash marks. And here we go with some vodka, right on top of the oil, right up to five ounces. A little bit of water, we're just gonna bring that up another ounce. Okay, that's simple. All right, we're done with that guy. Okay. Now you can actually see that this has color. That air freshener, very similar to colognes. You actually get color a little bit more if you do tinctures before this type of mixing. So tinctures just being an extraction with alcohol solvents. Very commonly people use vodka and maybe for a couple days seeping herbs like sage and rosemary in vodka first and then adding that tincture to a concoction mixture like this. That way you're actually, you know, extracting some pigments along with, you know, full spectrum chemistry. Um, since I love witch hazel, I'm just going to put in just a little bit. Let me get my filter here. Get my, get my funnel here and just a little bit of witch hazel just to lift things up a bit. Okay, just a splash. Okay. So at this point, it's pretty much done and you want to do your best to mix, but just keep in mind that oil and water does not mix, okay? Um, and sometimes before spraying, for instance, when we put it into this, um, I will just give it a little mix and then spray. I do love apothecary. Ooh, it smells really nice. So much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this program. We'll bring you more of these types of programs and certainly explain extraction in detail coming up, hopefully with the lavender in bloom. See you soon. Have a great Father's Day weekend. This is Strawberry Bank.